Maybe you can pull in a little closer there. We want to be able to hear you too, because you'll probably be talking to us also. This is Eva Ray Westmoreland, Mercer, Westmoreland. Westmoreland. Right. And uh, you were, were you born in Puerto Rancos? No, I was born in Corpus Christi at mm -hmm. my grandmother's house. My mother had gone over there. To be Where the parking okay. lot is in front of the old uh, uh, it was courthouse. 410 Belden Street. The old courthouse in Corpus? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right in the parking lot, that's where the house was? <laughs> yeah, Marcy says, tells everybody I was born on that parking lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> no problem. That's where the house was. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so you go way back. I, I know a little bit about the Mercers, and that's it. You hear a lot of stuff, so I wanted to hear it straight from you. Can we just, maybe you could just kind of do your family tree for us as much as you know, you know, with your your parents and, and how they're related. Yeah. And, of course, the Mercers back to where they came from England and, uh, and get all that down and... And who's who in your family? Okay. Okay. Your dad? It was John George Mercer. Actually, he was a, he was a junior. He never went by junior, but, but he actually was John George Mercer Jr. And my mother was Mary Ray Roberts Mercer. No relation at all to the Roberts at Port Rancis. She was, born was, she, she was born and reared in Lamar. Mm -hmm. So she wasn't related to either one of the Roberts families? On, yes. At Port Aransas? In Port Aransas? No. Mm -hmm. Not the Florida Roberts family, but right. the other Roberts family. Yes, she's related what to them. The Roberts? Godfrey. The only other Roberts. Godfrey, and, Godfrey and Alfred. Godfrey Roberts. Mm -hmm. She was related she, to them. She was a first cousin. Okay. Mama was. Okay. And also to uh, you Aunt Brundrick. Her mother was a Brundrick. Mama's mother was. All right. Okay. Yeah. What was your mother's name? Her name yeah, was Mary Ray. Well, it's, it looks Mary Ray. Nice. Okay. Roberts. Roberts. Uh -huh. Mercer. Base of roses in All right. the, uh, You were born yeah. in year of. At my grandmother's house in Corpus Christi. In what year? What, what was your birthday? February the 15th, 1931. Just okay. had a birthday not too long ago. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So, uh, so you, you, everybody was living in Port Aransas, but you, she had gone to see her mother. She just went there to have to have me. Uh huh. Okay, to be with her mom. Yeah. Okay, very good. And you were the youngest of the family. Who are your brothers? My brother is Leon L. Mercer of Victoria, Texas. Mm -hmm. My sister is deceased, but she was Edna Catherine Mercer Timodesky. Uh, she was living on the east, uh, no, the west coast, mm -hmm. actually in Issaquah, Washington, close to. Uh, uh, what's the big, I'm trying to think of it, Washington, the state of uh, San Francisco, <laughs> California. <laughs> yeah, okay. Seattle, she's close to Seattle. Okay, so you, so you had a brother and a sister? I had a brother, no, I'm talking about me. Mama had, oh my goodness. Yeah, she had, there, was six, yeah. there were seven children in the family. She had five sisters and two brothers. Okay, so, uh, so her father and Godfrey's father were brothers? No, her father and Godfrey's father were, were, they, were they cousins, maybe? Cousins. They weren't brothers, they were cousins. Okay. Yeah. And what was his name? Who? Uh, your your grandfather, grandfather, your mother's father. My mother's father, father. was uh, Leonard Barber Roberts. Okay. Did he ever live in Port Aransas or, or uh, was she an he, imported? Uh, yeah, at one time he was on St. Joe and then he was at Port Aransas because he, mm -hmm. he went because my, my father, I mean my grandfather, was one of the first bar pilots. 
and my grandfather, uh, my maternal grandfather, was a bar pilot. Went to work for that. He he was a bar pilot also. Okay. Uh, okay. So your father was John, and your grandfather was John, and. Um, now, I, I, I had some pictures, but I decided not to bring them in. So, uh, uh, let, tell us uh, uh, about the pilots, as you know it. You had brothers, there were brothers who were pilots. Yes. Uh, they, uh, my, my, uh, my dad's father had uh, two brothers. And they were all bar pilots. They were some of the first bar pilots. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so your grandfather and and his brothers were pilots. Right. Okay. What were their names? My uh, mother's father or my daddy's father. Yeah, your daddy's uh, your your granddaddy and his brothers. They you said they were all three pilots. Yeah. And, and so who were they? Well, there was. Uh, uh, my dad was John, but there was also a John, another John, and a uh, Thomas. Tom. Which one do they call Ned? Uh, Edward. Mm -hmm. And was he another brother? Related. He was one of the, he was he was Daddy's uh, first cousin, or bro no, not brother, first cousin, I guess. Okay, so he was the son of, of which one? Was the son of John or? He was the son of, of Ed, Edward. Son of Edward, okay. Yeah, and that's where the, the Ned, I don't, but. That how, wasn't his name though, right? His name wasn't Ned, is that correct? No, it wasn't Ned, it was actually Edward. That was just, they cut, it was kind of like a nickname, but. Uh -huh. uh, and that's very common for the. Uh, for, Ed, for Edwards to be Ned's, don't ask me oh, why, really? but they are. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. In fact, Ned Teller at Port Aransas is named mm -hmm. for. All right. And yeah. that's where he got his, he was actually named, the Ed, he is really actually Edward, but, and that came from, he was named for mm -hmm. uh, Uncle, Cousin, whoever, Ned. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Ed and Ed Jr. Ed Jr. was Ned. Yeah. Okay, and then your father was John, and yeah. there was one more brother. Did you say he was a John also? Tom. Tom, okay. Tom. John, Tom, and Ed. Ed. Right. Okay, were there more of them, or is it just the three that were here uh, on St. Joe Island and being pilots? Basically, that was the Okay. Now, are were we they talking? on St. Joe or, uh -huh. or, or Port Arena? No, they were on St. Joe. And then Great Grandpa, uh, 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 Robert. You're Robert Ainsworth? No, Robert Ainsworth moved to mm -hmm. and settled Mustang Island in November of 1857. Okay, so he was the big daddy. Yeah. He's the one that came from England. Yeah. And, and he set up and he did uh, some ranching. Yeah, if you and believe that, ranching at Port Ranches, yeah. Yeah, was he raising cattle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and, and we, did he live on Mustang Island and St. Joe Island? Originally it was on St. Joe for, I don't really know how long, not too mm -hmm. terribly long, then moved over to Mustang and stayed there. For, and uh, the, the home place, which was known as Elmore Rancho, was burned down by the Yankees during the Civil War, but then they rebuilt. Okay, so that's the place that he set up in 1857. Right. And he called it his little ranch. Yeah. Was it right there where you grew up? Uh, no, actually, it was. Well, it was. It was. It was on Station Street, but it was closer to the ship channel than our old house. Mm -hmm. Okay, like a halfway to the water yeah, or like, close to the like water. Down closer to the Coast Guard station. I see. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't there a part of El Mar, El Mar Rancho left that they used to rebuild? Yeah, apparently because the the house when they rebuilt and our old house, it was the same floor plan that the original old El Mar Rancho was. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, mm -hmm. 
So did they like salvage part of the house that burned down yeah. and then used it? I wonder yeah. why they moved further up Station Street from where they were. I don't know unless they were just getting a little further away from the water. Maybe so. Probably. But you know, back then nobody really owned that land. It was all state land, so they were just squatters. Yeah. And the, and the land was given because actually our old home place, my dad, it was not, it was actually my Aunt Kate, who was his sister, who uh, was granted the land by the state in 1910. Okay. And up until then, was it just state property? Yeah. And so they just, y'all, everybody was a squatter, but, might say but so. it was, nobody yeah. cared. Yeah. Right? No. So they, they yeah. lived there and improved the land and all yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, very good. So, that was 1857. Now, when did, when did he start piloting? We're still talking about Robert Ainsworth. Yeah. Right? And was he the first pilot or was it just, was it the boys that became the... It was the sons, really, I think. I mean, the, yeah, that were the first pilots. Mm-hmm. And did, did I, I'd have to do a little digging into my history and my brain to uh -huh. remember whether he was actually the first one. You know. I see. Uh -huh. there, there was a pass through there, but yeah. there wasn't much, but there yeah. was a pass. Yeah. So when did they get interested in living on St. Joe? Was it did they do that uh, because it was it, it was easier for them to be pilots that way? No, there were already people living on St. Joe. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, in fact, I think my mama's, my mother's father, Leonard Barber Roberts, I think he was initially on St. Joe, but he was there originally. Mm -hmm. That was where he settled when he came? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was he an import? Did he come from England or something? Or yeah, he did. Did he know the Mercers before Not he came? over there, no. Mm -hmm. I wonder how they, they ended up together like that. I don't know because when Robert Ainsworth, when, when the Mercers came, they were first in Indian in Indianapolis, Indiana, and uh, the Mercer. I don't know if that was Robert. That was a, a lawyer, and he continued his law practice there, and then they mm -hmm. moved to which I thought was found it kind of right to Westmoreland County, Virginia. Oh, my, my being, you know, of course, no connection, no thought of anything down the line. Mm -hmm. And it was from there they heard about what was going on in Texas and how it was, and they uh, they moved to, they first they went to, first to Mobile, Alabama, and then on to Texas. Mm -hmm. to, and I can say at first St. Joe because there were people there. And then... Uh, okay. And was that the Roberts? You're talking about the Roberts? No, I'm talking about the Mercers. The Mercers, oh, okay. Yeah. okay. And then they moved on to say, Moved on over to Mustang and settled uh, uh -huh. Mustang. And so we can assume there wasn't much happening in, on Mustang Island before no, they got there. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If they went there. They found they could have fresh water, and they found they could have some livestock. Yeah. And maybe could grow something. Yeah, they did. They well, they had gardens. Oh, yeah, and make did. a living. What what was he doing to make a living? Would you think he was buying or raising cattle and, and selling them? Yeah. I'm sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if those uh, plants, all those uh, slaughterhouses in Fulton and all that, were, yeah. were they, I wonder if they were were working at that time and buying cattle. Probably. I, would, I don't know that, that, that I don't know. Either. There again, I would have to research. Uh -huh. You see, and I don't know just but, uh, where I'd get it. You had to be doing something to make a living. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And as far as you know, you tell me, what, what his life was like, what he was doing there. But what was his life like when he moved to Mustang Island in, in uh, 1857? Do, do y'all know the family? Do y'all have, like, you know, anything that's been passed down that tells you what he was doing there? No, but about the only thing or all of the history is in the Mercer, Mercer Logs. Mm-hmm. Uh, which, uh, I still have five of them. Mm -hmm. I think there were originally two that were lost somewhere along the line. 
I mean, that's what I've heard. Yeah. So are there are there more than the ones that you have that you know of, or not counting the two that were lost? No, no. Okay. Okay. Um, was that a, a big thing for you kids growing up? Did they talk about that a lot, about your heritage and about the fact that Y'all have been there since 1857. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, you know, we were aware of it. Mm -hmm. We would go up into the loft and oh, the house. what did you call that? You, you didn't call it a loft. Just attic, we called it. Well, we go up there yeah. and get those old logs out of the trunks to read them. Yeah. Because they were so funny. Yeah, I've never read the whole thing. You you can read those logs online and at the library and yeah. stuff and, and what have you. I've never read them all, but uh, do they tell a whole lot about daily life? You know, yes. Just the daily life and what you ate and what you uh, talked about to planting, fish and gardening, stuff. and yeah, and and chasing horses and cattle and mm -hmm. wild mustangs down the island. Yeah. Uh, One really good story in there was about them chasing those Mustangs, and this was Mr. Dunn. Yeah, I guess. And they were chasing the Mustangs down from the uh, north end of the island to the, no, from the south end to the north end, and they got them all to the north end and something bit them in the ass and they all turned around and ran back the other way. Mm -hmm. And they were too tired, Mr. Dunn was too tired, he said, and his horse was too tired to chase them anymore. Yeah. Let them go. Okay. <laughs> Horses and cattle. Yeah. Well, Mustang Island. Okay, again, not never having read the logs, and I could read them. Do they talk about horses very much? Wild yeah. horses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's where the, the Mustang came from, Mustang. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the Union came in there, and I, I know they did a lot of burning and everything. Yeah, right after our old house was burned, they burned Captain Club's house. In fact, uh, who is it, Guth Guthrie? Guthrie Ford? Yeah, has written, I mean, he, and he actually found somewhere the actual report of when they burned our old house. It's it's in, uh, I mean, it's in one some of those, records in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Probably a diary of one of the soldiers. Mm -hmm. It was. Yeah. There's a lot of those diaries around to what they did. Yeah. Every last one of them talks about the northerners that come through there. Oh, yeah. And they were like, I compared them to wild animals, you know. They were <laughs> impressed by our north. These are guys from Maine. Yeah. And I, in Ohio, and they, they thought those yeah. northerners were pretty brutal, you know, <laughs> they you know were. blowing they them away. Mm -hmm. Okay, who was uh, Robert Ainsworth's wife? What was her name? Uh, well, let me see. Robert Ainsworth's wife. At, at, at the moment, I'm blank because John, the son John, my, my grandfather, his wife was Emma Christine Scott, but I, I don't remember who great grand who Robert Ainsworth. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have it in the, in the history. Right. Somewhere. Okay. Okay. Then, um, when were his children born? Robert's children, the the sons. Were, were there sons and daughters? Did Robert Ainsworth have sons and daughters? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there again, I have to do a little research and to dig up. Exactly okay, but you know, we know about the three boys who yeah, are the pilots. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, were, did he have those children when he came to the Mustang Island? No, I think. No, I don't think so. I think they've all been because they were born afterwards. Yeah, my daddy and all of his, my 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 daddy's, my father's parents. Had ten children, and they were all, every one of them born on Mustang Island. Okay. So uh, let's see. So John and and uh, Ed and Tom. They were about the right age to have been born 
somewhere before the Civil War. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you're telling me that your father had nine siblings? Yeah. Brothers and sisters? Mm -hmm. So you had a lot of aunts and uncles. Did you know them? Did they live around there? Or? No, actually, like my, my, uh, my grandparents, the only grandparent I ever knew was my mother's mother. The others were all deceased by the time we all came along. Mm -hmm. So I didn't, didn't know them at all. But all right. I did know my mother's mother. Okay, but now then your but your father your father had had brothers and sisters. Yes. And did you know the your aunts and uncles? Did, um, were, were, did they live around here? Uh, not not really. Some of them like went on off to to Galveston, Corpus Christi. Mm -hmm. uh, Corpus Christi. That, that yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, so they really didn't, they didn't settle in Port Aransas necessarily, like John did. Yeah, no, no. Mm -hmm. they, they went on off somewhere else. Because like uh, one daughter, Jane Amelia married Frank Reynolds, and he was a Coast Guardsman. And uh, he, uh, he was there on the, and but then I don't know if he had originally come, come from Galveston there, but anyway, when they, they, they settled in Galveston. And then, uh, mm -hmm. say, Galveston, Corpus Christi. Okay. Well, then, did did uh, Ed and Tom? Did they have children? Which would have been your cousins. Yeah. Uh, Do you remember having cousins? No, I don't. They. I don't recall their having any children. There was. There, there, there was. Ed and Tom and a sister, Edith. Mm -hmm. And the two old brothers were bachelors, and Edith was an old maid. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, but, so, <laughs> but John, John, on the other hand, had all these kids. Yeah. Yeah. And who is his wife again? John's wife? Your granddaddy? What was uh, her name? Mary Ray? My mother, Mary Ray. Uh, her Mary mother's Ray. name was Mary Ray. Roberts. Oh, okay. But who was your grandmother's name? Mama's mother. Uh huh. Her name was actually, if you can believe this, George Anna Brundry. Oh. The story goes apparently when she was, they knew they were expecting, they were hoping for a boy, I guess. And uh -huh. it was going to be George instead, so they just named her George Hannah. I see. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, Hannah Brundrett, now that's a big name. And by the way, it uh, is not Brundrett, it's Brundrick. Brundrick, oh, okay. I fought that battle for a long time because really? I don't know what they call themselves now, but it was Brundrick. I never, never, ever, ever heard it pronounced Brundrett. It was, uh -huh. it was the, the accent on the Brun, Brundrick. On the Brun part, yeah. No, yeah. that's a hot tip. That's all we ever call them is Brundretts, but. Yeah, I don't know what they call themselves. Brundrick. Brundrick? Yeah. I'm sure Ansel called himself Brundrick. Mm hmm Probably so. Okay, so uh, so basically it was your father and your grandfather were the ones who uh, who was the most established and he had most of the kids. Yeah. And he had the 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 houses and yeah. The ranch and, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wish I'd brought those pictures in now because uh, I have some pictures of John Mercer. Uh, you're her father, right? Your your yeah. father and there's, mm -hmm. there's probably about three pictures of him. Yeah. Uh, one of them's a good picture. The others aren't really all that good. Our old house. Yeah. Uh, pictures of your dad on boats and stuff. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well. So, yeah, his, her dad. And what did your dad do? He was uh, a, uh, uh, as a young uh, man and all. He was a guide, fishing. I mean, he was a hunting guide, mm -hmm. I mean, hunting fishing guide. And then, as time progressed, 
he was constable of the island, and when he died, he was constable of Port Aransas. Mm-hmm. Uh, For how much a month? Forty dollars a month. Yeah. Fantastic salary. Yeah, would that be in the like the late thirties? Daddy.